At age 37, Donaldson's life was pretty much set. With a wife and two daughters, he had a good job working for Kingston Technology, a company owned by his billionaire father, David's son, one of the richest men in the world. But with the urging of his dad, he left the company. He suggested that I go do something on my own for a little while because if I were to stay at Kingston for, for much longer, he feared that I wouldn't be able to learn as much as I could, you know, fail, learn how to, how to succeed from failure. A former high school volleyball player, Donald decided to pursue one of his passions and buy the then bankrupt AVP Pro Beach Volleyball Tour for $2 million. His dad was a little surprised. This is what he said. <laughs> he said, yeah, son, I'm really proud that you're, you're, you're going to go do something on your own, but I didn't expect you to go and own a, a sports property. I don't know anything about that. I can't help you, but good luck. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> that was two years ago. Today, the league is back on its feet with seven tournaments across the country in a season which runs from May to September. MVP! The league features many Olympic gold medalists, including Bay Area native Kerry Walsh Jennings. Donald says the AVP's problems had to do with its management, not its product. There's a reason why it's been around for 30 years. So, so in a certain aspect, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But it was broke though, wasn't it? It was broke, it was broke, but only because of, the, of how they ran the business. It was a different reason for, well, previous management ran it for different reasons. They wanted to, so to speak, flip the house, right? Build equity and then find a buyer and sell it. For me, that's not mine. I'm trying to build equity into this property and, 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 and maintain it for as long as I can. Donald may be the only Asian American to own a sports league in the country, but he didn't set out to break any stereotypes. To be honest with you, there have been so many other aspects of, of the business that I've had to deal with. I haven't really thought about that, but if I can be somebody's role model when they look up and say, oh wow, this guy actually, you know, he's a successful business owner, he's Asian American, he's, he owns a sports property, maybe I can do that one day. Then that's, I think that, that, that is, that's good enough for me. <laughs> if he does continue to have success with the league, don't expect Donald to brag about it. When I was younger, I don't remember the exact scenario, but I, I went home and I bragged to my dad about something. And, he, and I thought, wow, he was going to be proud of me. But he looked at me sternly and said, son, don't ever brag again. Don't ever do that. I don't ever want to catch you doing that. And so uh, that for, for sure made me think twice. And from that point on, I've always carried that in me. Never talk about yourself, you know, which again, this, is, this kind of interaction is a little uncomfortable for me, but you know, I understand the value of it. <laughs> if Donald could build the AVP league into a winner both on and off the court, it'll speak for him.